Hello everybody, it's good to see you. Welcome to my channel. And hope everybody's new year is starting out with a lot of laughter and happiness. And uh, we're going to open up here. I have to wait till kind of, oh, 10, 30, 11 o'clock to make a video. Because evidently the internet gets so busy that it doesn't... Uh, want me to make a video or something. I ain't figured it out yet. <laughs> but I'm working on it. So just hang in there for a minute. I'm going to open this up. And I should have had it ready, and I didn't. But um, I had a pretty good day today. So I'm still feeling a little bit better. Which is good in my book. And let me... I got to shrink this up. There we go. Okay. And of course, this is, um, I gotta move this over a little bit. Here we go. Okay. Here we are. All right. And again, welcome to my channel. I have been gone for a few weeks, uh, being sick, so I'm happy to be back. Joe Biden's 2024 plans were turned upside down. When he saw these devastating new poll numbers. Well, I bet he was. Yes, I bet uh, it was kind of uh, shocking to him. Because he seems to think that uh, he's on top of everything. And uh, that kind of worries me. And I'm sure it worries everybody else too. But Joe Biden was hoping Democrats over performance in the midterm elections would end talks of him stepping aside in 2024 to allow another Democrat to take the lead. But that didn't happen. And Joe Biden's 2024 plans were turned upside down when he saw these devastating new poll numbers. President Joe Biden is expected to announce his 2024 plans shortly after the Christmas holiday. Right now, all indications are that President Biden is going to run for re-election in two years. He continues to say he plans on running because he's the only Democrat who can defeat former President Donald Trump. But if President Biden decides to run, he will have to convince Democrats that he is capable of performing his duties for four more years. Biden, who is the oldest president in American history, turned 80 years old in November, and his age is already having a major impact on his physical and mental abilities. And that's sad. As most Americans can see, yes, we can, can't we? Bless his heart. And despite Democrats' midterm performance, polls show he still must convince the majority of Democrats to support his re-election bid. According to a recent CNBC slash All American Economic Econ Economic Survey, the results of the midterm elections did not change the op opinions of those who believed President Biden should step aside in 2024. The poll found that 57% of Democrats, as well as 66% of Independents and 86 of Republicans, do not want Biden to run for re-election. Over 70% of Americans do not want President Biden to seek re-election, while only 19% support his re-election. Biden's age is a top concern among those who think he should not seek re-election. The survey found that 47% of those who think Biden should not run say age is a major reason, including 61% of Democrats who don't want him on the ballot 66% of seniors, CNBC reported. Other recent polls have also found similar results as a recent Yahoo slash YouGov survey showed that the majority of Americans, 55%, do not believe the president should run again in 2024. Among the Democrats, 40% said he should run in 2024. 31% believe he should not run 29% remain unsure, according to the poll. When broken down further, the results also reveal President Biden's age 
is the top reason for those who believe he should not seek re-election. But he still says he is running again in 2024, and his family supports his decision. A senior advisor told Fox News that Joe Biden intends to run again, before adding that is something both Dr. Biden and the family fully support. Stay tuned to the conservative underground news for any updates on this ongoing story. Well, I can't say his age um, should be on the top, you know, because I know a lot of 80 year olds that are a lot smarter, more experienced than the younger generation. You know, um, it's his his uh, mental health. It should be the top. But I wouldn't downgrade his age. I'm going to be 80 in May. In this year, of this new year now. You know, and uh, although I'm just like everybody else, you know, I do silly things. I forget things. I misplace things. But children do the same thing, you know? But it's just that he, what do you want to say? I know what they call it, but I don't want to say that. Uh, he spaces out at times, you know? And um, he does that more than usual, that a person 80 years old and in good health mentally would do. So um, that should be the top thing right there. But um, another thing about Biden is uh, he can't conceive that he is not a good president. I mean, ever since he took office, look at the shape we're in. So who's pushing him to make him believe that he's all together and he should run again for president? That, that, to me, is disrespecting him. That's disrespecting his health problems. Really, you know. Um, I could be wrong. Like I said, you know. But don't, don't discredit people that are just turning 80 or even 90. You know. I've seen 90 people of age, 90 years of age, do amazing things. So, I wouldn't put his age as a top priority. It's his mental state. Yeah, it's it's sad. It really is. But, um, I don't know. I could be wrong, you know, but I really don't think it's his age. I think it's more like dementia has probably started to set in. And that is a sad part of it also. And him thinking that he's the greatest president that ever was, we know that's not true, you know. And that's part of the failure of the mind. It's not the age. Not the age. Okay, let's go on to another one. I'll try to get two or three in on this if I can. And uh, I feel a lot better today. I've had a good day. And... Um, Last night was a little bit rough, but um, I took my medicine, and uh, I rested a lot today. I didn't do much, and oh boy, when I get to feeling just a tad more better, I'm really going to have to get with stuff. Yes, I need to uh, get my housework caught up, my laundry caught up, which I don't really have a lot of laundry, but I do have, I got to do some dusting and, you know, just similar things that we do every day mostly and um, I got to get that done and let's see this one here now <laughs> this is Tucker Carlson I don't know how y'all feel about Tucker you know I read a lot of his articles but uh, some I have to chuckle and then some I get mm, you know <laughs> I don't know if I want to read any more from old Tucker there <laughs> But it says, Tucker Carlson just interviewed one woman who accused Joe Biden of this awful sex crime. Now, that's something I don't know if we've 
all ever heard anything about a lot. If you've heard a lot about it, I haven't. And I do research every day and go over all the many articles that I possibly can do. And uh, I don't know. The fake news media spent the entire 2020 presidential campaign hiding Joe Biden's scandals from the American people. Well, I think there was a lot hidden from us. Yes, I do. Details of his family's corruption, misconduct, would have sunk Joe Biden's campaign. Yes. And now Tucker Carlson just interviewed one woman who accused Joe Biden of this awful sex crime. In March 2020, Tara Reedy, R-E-A-D-E, -E, Reedy, accused then Senator Joe Biden, Democrat of D.E., which I take as Delaware, of sexually assaulting her in 1993 when Reddy worked in his Senate office. The fake news media put the story on ice out of fear that readers, uh, Reedy's allegations would destroy Biden's campaign. Uh -huh. During the 2016 election, some Democrats stayed home rather than vote for Hillary Clinton out of the disgust that she enabled former President Bill Clinton's predatory behavior. And we all know about that. The fake news media was terrified that any negative reporting on Biden would cost him the election, secure former President Donald Trump a second term. I still say I wish President Trump um, would have not had what's happened to him so often. You know, this and that, and everybody's out to get him. Stab him in the back. Make sure he don't run for president. Like, they're scared. They're scared of him. And I don't know why. We didn't have any of this situation that we've been through for the past two years when Trump was president. Why can't people see this or think this? It is so negative on some people, especially the ones up there in the bigger upper, upper White House collage, or whatever you want to call it, they're fighting tooth and nail to keep him from running. I don't know. Now Fox News' Tucker Carlson has given Reddy her most prominent platform yet to tell her story about President Biden allegedly sexually assaulting her. Reddy described a harrowing encounter which then Senator Biden pinned her against the wall uh and did not so nice things. I'm not going to read what's here. According to Reddy, after she told Biden she didn't want to sleep with him, he proceeded to grab her by the shoulders and told her she was finished. Reddy said at the moment she knew her career in politics was over and told Carlson that Biden and his allies set out to destroy her life and family. That's sad. This is corroborating evidence to back up Reddy's claim. A clip from August 11th of 90, 1993, episode of Larry King Live, featured a woman Reddy said was her mother calling in the program and asking how to report allegation, an allegation of sexual harassment against a powerful senator. When the hashtag MeToo movement first exploded, Democrats began parroting the lion, and that's parrot, parroting, the lion believe all women. But as it turns out, what the Democrats really mean is believe all women as long as they don't make allegations against Democrats. Stay tuned to Conservative Underground News for any updates on this ongoing story. And so far, um, of course, I was sick for a couple weeks, so I wasn't uh, uh, doing much um, investigating, not investigating. Uh, oh, good gravy, Betty. <laughs> you know, I wasn't doing much research. I'll get it. I'll get it. <laughs> Remember, I'm going to be 80. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But anyway, no, I haven't seen too much of that coming back out in print. Let me put it that way. Um... And I really don't care to. But if it's true and it happened, then they should believe the lady. You know, 
because, boy, I'll tell you, I don't think I'd want any part of that upper class people. Would you? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> well, anyway, remember that you're a blessing. And I might be back with another video. I'm not sure. But again, God bless all of you. And I pray you have a great, great 2023. Many blessings bestowed upon you to no end. You and your family, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and children. Even your little four-legged pets. Yeah, that we spoil something terrible, right? <laughs> Bye. I will catch you all later.